Okay, welcome back, and we're gonna continue talking about scorpions, but this time we're gonna focus on some of our native U.S. scorpions. So unfortunately, we don't have any of our local Albuquerque species right now. Um, we have uh, some small ones that are pretty common on the west side, known as the striped tail scorpion. And then on the east side, you will sometimes see the striped bark scorpion. Um, both are kind of small, yellowish brown, but both are totally harmless to us, so nothing dangerous in the area here. However, if we go over to Arizona or to the southern part of New Mexico, we get our most venomous U.S. scorpion, the Arizona bark scorpion. So this is a pair here, and then there's a little baby in here too. A baby? Mm-hmm. Let's see if we can find the baby. So cool. So oh my god, the baby is so cute. Yeah, it's an adorable. Oh my gosh, what so, a cute baby scorpion. I, know. I, I think scorpions are the cutest of the arthropods. So oh you'll often gosh. hear that um, the smaller ones are more venomous, but that's actually totally not true. Um, in general, your really big species of scorpions don't have venom, but some of your most venomous species in the world get to some pretty big sizes, like your fat-tailed scorpions of northern Africa. And baby scorpions, um, because they're so small, they carry a lot less venom. So bite, or stings from babies are generally not as bad as stings from adults. And that's kind of the opposite of what you'd see in like venomous snakes. Interesting. Well, that is just the cutest little baby scorpion. Thanks for showing us your baby. Yeah. And um, even though they're the most venomous scorpion in the U.S., um, stings are actually uh, not that dangerous. Um, Children and the elderly are more at risk, uh, kind of similar to like black widow venom we talked about. Mm -hmm. So if a uh, adult were to get stung by this, it would just hurt a lot. It's a neurotoxin, so it can cause numbing, convulsions. Um, most cases, you wouldn't need to see any sort of medical attention. So um, again, that's kind of the theme I like to drive here is that even our most dangerous arthropods are really not that dangerous. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's good to know. That's reassuring. Okay. And who do we have here? So this is a really cool species, uh, not too common. This is known as the Big Bend Scorpion. And this is native to Western Texas. Uh, doesn't quite make it into New Mexico, but this one looks a little very similar to some of your big black tropical scorpions. Yeah. And this one actually had a whole bunch of babies. So we have, um, and she's very skittish and fast. Again, as you can see, she Ooh. wants to run and hide. Now she'll kind of defend herself if you get in her face. She's a little feisty, so we won't pick this one up. Yeah, no, let's let her, let her have her space. Yeah, but um, she uh, has a very mild venom, so she's not dangerous at all. Um, cool. Yeah, stink from her is, well, comparable to a bee, just like a lot of things in here. We always use that comparison. So what I've noticed with a lot of our scorpions that we've been learning about recently is that they always tend to, well, first try to run and hide, and then two, if they do decide to get sassy, they turn around with their little pincers first. So mm -hmm. is stinging kind of a last resort for scorpions? Usually is. And again, it depends on how fast you come at them. If it's a very fast trying to eat them, the sting will come immediately versus if it's just kind of coming at them and you'll be like, hey, what's, what's going on? And they'll, um, like a lot of things, they like to conserve their venom for their prey. Its main purpose is to subdue and to help digest their prey items. So again, yeah, it is a last ditch effort to protect themselves. Cool, so good to know. Mm -hmm. And then who do we have here? Our last little friend of the scorpion section. So this is the giant desert hairy scorpion. It is actually the largest scorpion species in the new world. So we don't have any of the large black ones in South America or Central America like you do in Asia and Africa. So in the desert southwest, we have the biggest one in the Western Hemisphere. And again, it is a very docile species, a very mild venom. Um, I'd say this one is even milder than this species here. I've been stung by these and it's like a pinprick. It's very, uh, I'd say it's about a third of a bee sting. Well, she's also the calmest of the scorpions we've learned about so far, aside yeah. from that baby, of course. Yeah. Would you like to hold her? If she'll let me. Yeah, I'm going to hold her over here. That's okay. A bit of a stretch. I've never held a scorpion. You haven't? Oh, that's this, this is color. a good starter one. Whoop. Oh, yeah, so that one's a female. And, um, so cool. She may or may not be gravid. Uh, scorpions have very long gestation periods. Uh, it can be up to over a year. So sometimes if you get a wild collected one, it'll pop out babies when you least expect it. <laughs> cool. Scorpions. Mm. Okay, I'm going to let you crawl on the rock. All right, before we go, you want to see one last cool trick? Sure. So, the unique thing about scorpions is that all species fluoresce under UV light. So, we'll start with her. Cool, thank you. Yeah. She, was, she was nice. Yeah, and you can see they have the, this, wow. uh, most of them have this beautiful kind of greenish neon color to them. So, they all glow about the same color. Oh, where's that baby? Yeah. We should find Ooh, the baby. Baby's hidden. There it is. Oh my god, look at that baby. <laughs> So cute! Look at the baby! Oh, and even the black ones glow. Oh wow, that's such a beautiful color. Yeah. 
Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We just learned about so many awesome types of scorpions, and I even got to hold one. So that's very exciting. Um, yeah, I think that's where we are with arachnids, right? We're going to be moving on to a new type of arthropod next week. Yeah, we'll be starting with the, the biggest and most famous group, the insects. So cool. stay tuned for next time. Awesome.